everyone and welcome back to the channel. The van that we're about to tour is our 12th build and our last, at least for a while. Since building this van, we have hit the road again to travel full time with our two cats, Lula and Sasha. This van truly is the culmination of our experiences over the past four years living in a van and over the past three running our own van conversion business. We have never been more excited to call a space home and we are honored to show you around. So welcome on in. The standing height inside this van is about 6'2", and the side-to-side -side width is about 6'1". A non-negotiable for us was this divider wall with a sliding pocket door. Sectioning off the cab from the rest of the living area provides temperature regulation, privacy, and is important for security. It also gives us such peace of mind that we can keep our cats safe while entering and exiting the vehicle. If you're interested in how we constructed this wall, we have a tutorial video up on our Patreon, which is linked in the description box below. This wet bath placement is one we've been dreaming of for years. It was heavily inspired by the previous van we lived in, which had a hidden pop-up shower in this exact spot. We loved the placement so much that we took the concept and expanded upon it by raising the walls to the ceiling and enclosing it. This arched doorway provides a beautiful visual element and this nautilus door keeps water contained. There's a single puck overhead in the shower and a small LED to illuminate this shelf. There are also two small cubbies above for storage and toiletries. We really wanted to avoid tiling to achieve a seamless look with the rest of the space, so we used Roman clay across the entire shower. There was a huge learning curve involved, and we've already gotten so many questions on this shower that we've made a full in-depth blog post over on our Patreon, detailing every step involved and links to all the materials used. We opted for a handheld bidet over a fixed shower head to encourage us to use less water, which is a precious resource when living in a van. With this setup, we can both shower with less than two gallons of hot water and avoid too many unnecessary fill-ups. We fill the fresh water tanks with this port outside the vehicle and the water drains to a gray water tank mounted under the vehicle. The floor is tiled and heated by a 12 volt mat from Expedition Upfitter that's linked below. The water in this van is heated by this 12 volt water heater from Ajde Water Solutions in Australia, and it's so efficient that we rarely turn it off. Probably our favorite feature of this entire area is the skylight. There's really nothing that compares to looking up to see the sky while showering. Behind this stainless steel door, you can find our composting toilet, the Cuddy by Compo Closet. It pulls out and locks into place on 250 pound drawer slides and has a really compact form factor. We went two years without a toilet in our van, but having a composting toilet has been a game changer for us. And it's also one of the most sustainable for the planet. We couldn't recommend the Cuddy enough and we'll have it linked below. Coming into the main living space, we have a large floor to ceiling unit, a small bench, a kitchen with double countertops, and a large pit couch that transforms into the bed. The floor to ceiling unit contains this 90 quart refrigerator and freezer and a drawer we use for dry goods. Next to that, we have this rounded bench that also serves as our cat's litter box. Since moving into a van four years ago with our cat Lula, we've adopted another cat named Sasha. So giving our cats a larger area to use the bathroom was a priority. We wanted the ladies to feel as fancy as we do using the bathroom, so we replicated the same arch doorway for them, just on a smaller scale. These inset shelves add dimension to these sections of wall, and this small entry table is the perfect spot to place small items down. To maximize functionality, we have this long laundry bag that we keep inside to work as a hidden laundry chute. In the kitchen, we have a large sink, gold faucet, and two countertops that we custom made to match the walls. Probably the largest visual feature of the space is the red oak veneer on all of our custom cabinet units. This was our first time using a real wood veneer, and it was hard, tedious work, but thankfully it paid off. There are upper cabinets and drawers for storage on either side of the kitchen, including this one with a dedicated area for trash and recycling, and this one with individual shelves for smaller items. After trying almost every cooking solution under the sun, we've decided that simple is best and opted for this sleek propane cooktop from GSI Outdoors. It pops out from the side of the counter and is connected to a small one pound propane bottle. 
With this setup, we don't have to worry about power consumption from cooking and love that it can be easily removed so that we can cook outdoors. If you like this stove, we'll have it linked below. We use this Breville oven to cook at least half of our meals and it really keeps things fun in the kitchen. We imported this Dometic fly screen from Germany and love how minimal it looks when our side door is open. Our cats can technically escape through the bottom, but it does help keep the bugs out. We added this side window from AMA Windows, and because it's black like the van, is super stealthy. From the exterior, it's hard to notice, but from the inside works really well with the Max Air Fan to help vent the space when cooking with propane. The tile floors are heated by the same mat that we used in the shower and are illuminated by this toe kick LED. The seating and sleeping area is slightly elevated, and these rattan dividers help provide some separation from the rest of the space. The U-Bench layout in our last van worked so well for us that we decided to replicate it but add a fifth cushion to the back for more of a loungy pit couch feel. While we travel, we work remotely and this lagoon mount makes the perfect desk. We convert the bed by removing this small cushion, placing this piece in the gap, and sliding the remaining four cushions into place. For us, having a convertible bed is key to living in such a small space as a couple. Everything with van life is give and take, and we really don't mind converting the bed since it allows us to have so much more real estate during the day. Although we don't have a garage, we have storage in all three benches. We keep clothes and outdoor equipment in this one, our bedding in the middle one, and most of our electrical system here. These arched bed boxes give us six one of side to side width and have small puck lights in them. There are upper cabinets on one side of the bed, but we left the other side more open with this floating oak shelf. There is a small light that seats into the shelf or can be removed and clipped into a hidden hook in the ceiling for more direct overhead light. Because our whole goal for this van was stealth, we decided to skip bunk windows and instead install this 24 by 24 inch boat hatch overhead. It provides great natural light, has a bug screen and blackout shade, and from the outside of the vehicle can't be seen at all when closed. One of our favorite features of our van and one that we enjoy every night at sunset is our walkable solar deck. This ladder and tire mount combo from Illuminous allows us to access the roof deck and also carry a spare tire on board. Up on the roof, we have five 60 watt panels and two 150 watt panels for a total of 600 watts. These are semi-rigid marine grade panels from custom marine products, and because they're meant for boats, are made to be walked on. Getting this much solar in addition to two skylights and a max air fan on the roof was a challenge, but we were able to configure the panels in two different energy efficient series. Sasha loves coming up here to watch the critters below, and I love having a coffee in the mornings or doing a meditation. Having this secondary space is amazing, and because these panels are so low profile, they really help with stealth on the road. We'll have these linked below if you're interested. Our entire home is powered by 810 amp hours of Battleborn's new Game Changer series batteries. Fed by the solar on the roof, these batteries power everything in our van and allow us to remain off the grid indefinitely. These batteries are self-heated, which makes them great for winter when temperatures can drop below freezing. We're able to monitor the system closely with this Serbo GX 5-inch touchscreen monitor that allows us to see our battery percentage, the amount of wattage coming in from our solar, fresh and gray water capacity, and temperatures inside and outside the van. We have 60 amps of DC to DC charging off the alternator when we drive and shore power for when we plug in. Our 12 volt multi plus 3000 watt inverter helps us run our larger draw devices like our oven and outlets. In this upper cabinet, we have breakers, fuse boxes, heat and AC controls, and USB charging. We source these batteries and all of our Victron components through Battleborn and we'll have everything linked below. We've gone four years without AC in a van, but traveling full time through all four seasons, we have to be prepared for all extremes. Although we always travel for weather 80 degrees or under, this cruising comfort AC unit assures us that our cats will be safe in a temperature controlled environment. Instead of a rooftop unit, the condenser is located underneath the van for a more stealthy look. 
In winter, we have this Webasto Airtop 2000 with altitude adjustment. Heaters can be a headache to install, so we highly recommend sourcing them through Van Life Outfitters where we got this one. Their customer support is truly the best and their kits make the install process so much easier. For security, we have a Simply Safe system installed. It has sensors for glass break, temperature and gas, as well as a keypad, key fobs, and an app where we can monitor the system when we're away from the van. Since we both work remotely from the road, it's super important that we have reliable internet. We chose to flat mount our Starlink on our roof using this flat mount solution from Starmount Systems. Having internet in the most remote places has been a game changer for making an income on the road and sustaining this lifestyle long term. So we definitely recommend both of these products to anyone looking to do van life. If you enjoyed this tour, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll be posting more consistently from here on out, so we look forward to seeing you next time.